for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a closet essential video. I was watching Ashley, aka Best Dressed, and I watched her very extensive closet essential video, and I was really inspired. And I wanted to do my own kind of version, I guess, or share with you guys my favorite clothing pieces and essentials. I'm gonna focus more for like the spring season because spring and summer, like warmer season. I haven't filmed a video in a very long time, so I thought that I would just kick it with a closet essential video. So with any further ado, let's just get started with the video. So I'm gonna start off with tops. And the first clothing item or top that is crucial in my closet is a turtleneck, specifically a black turtleneck. Now I said, I know that I said that I'm focusing more for the warmer seasons. I still wanted to give it a shout out to like turtlenecks because they literally go with anything. If you don't know what you're wearing, just throw on a turtleneck, pair with a pair of jeans, put on a pair of sneakers and you're good to go. And I feel like also for the spring or summertime, a short sleeve turtleneck could also work. Maybe not a full on turtleneck, but like a mock neck. These are a staple because you can wear them underneath tank tops, um, dresses, um, even blouses. They just give that extra touch to the outfit and also gives you more dimension. So my next essential is the good old white tee. I'm not gonna get too much into it because I know that everybody tells you guys about having a white tee in your wardrobe but I wanted to mention this one from End All The Stories because this is probably the only white tee that has lasted me without getting little combos on the t-shirt. Also the material is a little bit thinner so it's very breezy for the summertime and again white t-shirts these are just a staple because you just tuck it in a pair of jeans and you're good to go. They can also be a layering top for tank tops or tank top dresses, just a staple. <laughs> Next, we have polo t-shirts. I have been super in love with these kind of t-shirts because they just, they are very flattering. So right now I'm also wearing one from Brandy Melville. Um, it's also short sleeved and it has this polo uh, neckline. Here I have this one from um, Yestel, which is a little bit more vintage looking. And then I have a looser fit one and it's also cropped from Pretty Little Things. There's a little hack for you guys for those who are really into the vintage look. You guys can go to your dad's closet, get a polo from him and crop it and you will give like the same effect at this kind of polo t-shirts and there you have a very cute outfit. Then we have blouses. Blouses have been a new love for me. I think they look really sophisticated on you and they are just different from simple t-shirts. So first I wanted to share the most basic button up blouses. This one is from Uniqlo. I actually got this in an extra large because they didn't have a small but still it's really cute because I can tie it or just tuck it in and it has this oversized look to it. Kind of like your boyfriend blouse kind of button up t-shirt kind of look you could wear this as the blouse itself or you could wear it as a cover-up like with a very cute like colored or printed tank top and then you can put this over just to kind of calm down the print of the tank top for example and then we have the cuter blouses or the more the more elegant blouses this one in particular is from Yestel is a Brandy Melville's dupe even has like a fake Brandy Melville tag on it for this year I have seen the square neckline to be very very popular so this one kind of has that effect the print of it is black with white polka dots and it's just overall a very cute and a very girly kind of more fancy top that you could dress it up or dress it down um put with a pair of jeans a pair of sneakers you're good to go. Just kind of stepping up the game from a simple t-shirt. As for brand recommendations, I really, really love Petite Studio blouses. They have very cute stuff. I uploaded a fashion haul three weeks ago. I'll have the video link. Zara, Mango, H&M, these kind of brands tend to also have very cute blouses. Okay, so now moving on to bottoms. I'm gonna start off with the good old basic jean. Everybody has jeans in their closet, but I wanted to mention um, both the colors and the fits the basic or the most essentials um, jeans that you guys need in your closet. So I'm gonna start off with the fit of the jeans. First of all, we have the classic skinny jeans. I think that a pair of black skinny jeans is always very handy because they're like an upgraded version of leggings and also with them being black, it allows it to look good with any kind of tops. It's just kind of like the universal pair of bottoms. With jeans, it is very important for me to get them high-waisted Otherwise, my legs will just look very, very short. I also find high-waisted jeans to be more comfortable because I don't have to be pulling them up every single time. This one in particular are from Madewell. I love this so, so much. These ones aren't like the traditional like jean material. It's more of a jacket, so it's really, really comfortable. As for the length of the skinny jeans, I like them to be right at the ankle. Not too long, not too short. When it's too long,
bottom it can get scrunched up at the bottom which isn't a cute look and when they are too short well they just make your legs look short next we have the straight leg jeans for this one I have this color which is just a classical denim blue these ones are from Urban Outfitters they have pretty good jeans so if you want like good quality yet fairly moderate price then Urban Outfitters has what you're looking for the straight leg jeans are basically skinny jeans but instead of hugging your leg they are more um loose usually they are distressed at the bottom but they do also come in on this dress which can also look a little bit more vintage i think then we have the mom jeans mom jeans are unessential they are comfortable cute comfortable and cute the cutest mom jeans out there are in the thrift store this one that i have here are from levi's and their old stuff are the best stuff i am quite petite so thrifting can get very very hard so looking at the kids section i found this gem and these are just the perfect mom jeans and then lastly these are a new style that i've been really obsessed so these are basically an in between of straight leg jeans and white leg jeans white leg jeans they are more flared out than this one these one are kind of loose all the way and they're like extremely long that covers up your feet this pair in particular are from Stylenanda they have tons of cute jeans on their website the sizing can get a little bit weird this one in particular are actually a little bit big on me but a belt can make it work and then the last color is just a white pair of jeans white jeans are very very versatile for the spring and summer because for cuter blouses like the one that I showed you like the black polka dotted one for example would look amazing with this pair of jeans instead if you styled it with the other colored jeans it might look a little bit weird or a little bit dark and just not so springy or summery so yeah um white jeans and for those who are bored from denim jeans i have printed trousers both of these pair are from brandy melville the print of them are subtle enough to wear that aren't too out there but they make a very good statement piece as like creating uniqueness to the outfit and also the most important part of these trousers is that they are very comfortable because they are cotton and they hug your body very very nicely so yeah okay now moving on to shorts first we have the most modest ones like the non-distressed ones these are just classic cuffed folded um shorts and then again a white pair is an essential this one is basically the same but distressed again as you can see these are high-waisted shorts if they are low rise not really cute i feel like the only cute shorts are like high-waisted not only because they go with cropped t-shirts that many of you guys must own and also because when they are high-waisted they elongate your legs so much more than like low rise or mid rise and then lastly we have the classic blue distressed um these pair are vintage levi's and then these pair are from girlfriend denim they are on the expensive side but the quality is amazing okay so now i'm gonna move on to skirts and i have never really been a skirts person but last year i discovered that they are actually very nice midi skirts these are also a new obsession that i've gained from last year um this one i got from Bershka last year and i paired it with like a plain white top and then we have this one which is an animal print one which was very in trend this year and again this one paired like a simple top can look very very nice and now moving on to dresses first we have the little black dress i think this is an essential that any that everybody should own in their closet not only because they are easy to throw on you could just wear this dress and a pair of sneakers and you're good to go um perfect for the summertime it's breezy it's comfortable just everything you ask for in clothing um but also i really like to pair them as a layering top as i said before this underneath a plain white t-shirt is really cute or even under like a turtleneck for the winter time just a very vintage look and then we also have the more bold looking dresses this one in particular has a plaid print and the fit of this one is a baby doll dress i think that what makes a dress very cute is the neckline the print and then the cinching on the waist when they are tighter on the waist they are most likely to be flattering on you now there are also loose dresses that can be very cute but i find them to be more rare to be cuter because they can end up looking grandma dresses or even pajama dresses if you guys are looking for dresses maybe find those that are more fitting on the waist another dress that i have here is from yesdow this one is a long sleeve one so it's more suitable for the springtime and this one has kind of a wrap dress kind of neckline here and now moving on to outerwear we have 
denim jackets. So here I have a light blue denim color. Now for denim jackets, I like them to be a little bit more oversized. That way on the inside, for the, like for the top, I like to pair with a cropped kind of tighter fitted tops and then throwing this on. And then I also have this dark blue denim one. Um, I think a black denim one can is also a staple. I don't have it myself, but this one in particular is a little bit longer. It's the fit of this one is more vintage towards the vintage look. And this one is from Uniqlo. A little tip for you guys when styling denim jackets, make sure that if you are wearing them with jeans, um, make sure that the color of the jeans matches with the denim of the jacket. Otherwise, it can look a little bit funky. But if you don't have any pair of jeans that matches with your denim jacket, wear the black skinny jeans that I mentioned or a white pair of jeans. Those two colors are the safest to style with these kind of denim jackets. The next outerwear that I have is a good old leather jacket. You guys know that I'm in love with leather jackets because they are so powerful. They make your look super edgy. Just something about leather jackets are just <laughs> very attracting to me. This one in particular is not my favorite one. It, this one is from Zara and it was 30 euros. So it is very cheap. The material of this leather jacket is too loose and too soft where it doesn't give a very nice shape to the leather jacket but be careful because when they're too stiff you won't be able to move around otherwise if you just want to compromise with like a cheap one it's also it's also fine but <laughs> yeah. And then lastly I have my beloved Blazers. I am wearing one right now. This one is from Petite Studio. Blazers have been a new obsession for me. They they are they don't seem to be something like office wear, but I feel like when you find the perfect fit, they can be definitely worn out um, as a casual look or as an edgy look or as a formal look. It can give you all of the options. Let me talk about the prints of the blazers. So first of all, we have the classic gray. Now black blazers, those can look a bit stiffer and more serious and they're harder to pull off this one in particular is from random piece it has a huge oversized fit which is what breaks it from being an office wear blazers are important to have shoulder patches or they can look very loose and just not blazer like the next print that i really love it's basically the one that i'm wearing right now which is a plaid color they give that extra touch to the outfit okay so those are all of my closet essentials i hope that i didn't bore you guys because that was a lot of clothes to talk about but let me know what are your favorite stores to shop at and what is the clothing piece that you cannot live without but i had a lot of fun talking about clothes that i haven't been doing i have been only doing math and physics and business management in school thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video Bye-bye.